Hey everybody, Rick Nito from Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania. It's Friday evening, March the 14th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. I'm going to focus on race four this evening, folks. It goes to the post at 7.58 p.m. Eastern. It's a mile test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a starter allowance purse of $15,800. Contenders number two, Diamond Lore, number seven, La Nina Fria, number three, Mansion, and number six, Misty Sunrise. Number two, Diamond Lore, is the overall speed leader in this allowance field this evening, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Comes off a power run win in his last start 13 days ago here at Penn National. Jockey Arnie Unshue and trainer Tim Kreiser sent him to the post tonight. They've hit the board with 63% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number seven, La Nina Fria is the morning line favorite, drops in class, has hit the board in five straight, including a power run win in her fifth race back. Race four summary, number two, Diamond Lore, tops the contenders list, which also includes number seven, La Nina Fria, number three, Mansion, and number six, Misty Sunrise, 2736 in the fourth tonight from Penn National. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Charlestown. First race eight, number nine, all bets down. Four to one in the morning line. Takes a 14-level computerized class drop. as excellent speed for this six-and-a-half furlong sprint on the chilly West Virginia dirt. The race at Turf Paradise in Arizona today was obviously a lot warmer. Race five, number one, Petit Kakik. 8 to 1 in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a 6 level computer class drop, has nice overall speed for this 6 and 1 half for a long sprint. So on a Friday evening from Penn National, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.